for. Can the All Blacks win the Rugby World Cup? Can they win a really hard quarter final without their number one team? With those four frontliners out injured. Way two weeks ago, Sir Steve Hansen was on the breakdown live from France in camp with the Wallabies. Now, Mills, he is in camp with the All Blacks for the next two weeks in Lyon. If we can sort that discipline out and get the balance of our attack right, I, I still think we're a chance in this cup. How full, how full is that glass? Can you, can you see how full it's that full, glass It's full, mate. It's yeah. full. Uh, OK. It's okay. fully full. Uh, how full is your glass? Oh, of course we, we have we have the opportunity to still to still win this World Cup. Um, but it's just it's just certain areas that, that we need to be able to try and get right. And I think it's what I talked about in the very start of this this podcast, is that our, our margin of error against these teams is very, very small. So collectively as players, whether you're 1 to 23, in crucial moments, you've got to be able to nail your job and be able to get that right. You know, whether it's a breakdown, whether it's a, um, a scrum, a set piece, or whatever it may be, that's where we haven't got it right against these top two teams. So um, whether we're, we can get that the high kind of situational pressure leading into the Rugby World Cup. Kia ora, welcome to Angry Dad. Today we're going to be having a look at Uruguay. What do we know about Uruguay? And can they help the All Blacks go all the way? Its capital city is called Montevideo. Does that sound familiar to New Zealanders? Smaller than them? Okay, we did play N N Namibia, which I can never pronounce. Namibia. Uh, they, their population will be smaller than that too. But yeah, it's not often that New Zealand plays a smaller nation. I suppose Ireland's about the same as New Zealand. That'll be interesting. I think they're about 5 million too. But I digress. What do we know about Uruguay and can it help the All Blacks go all the way? Who saw that coming? 96 points to 17. The All Blacks almost put 100 points on Italy. And Rugby World Cup as New Zealand peel away again. Kane, Fitz Coles in the corner. Set move perfection once more. Talk Ireland versus New Zealand the morning after. Wow. Thing that I've seen in the last 24 hours was a post that you uh, you reshared, Jeff. It was from Guinness. They said, "Have a Carlsberg today because we are sick of the colour black." In, in terms of pure tension, living up to the billing, the Wales Argentina game was kind of low on quality, high on tension. This, this was two great, great teams going toe to toe. Hey, yep, welcome back to Angry Dad. Uh, thank you so much for all the subs that we've been getting. We really appreciate it. Hey, Felix. Yeah, yeah we're trying to grow our channel. Uh, primarily, we are a run, jump, throw channel. Ah! trying to get into the environment and move but it's been amazing with the rugby world cup which is highly engaging and highly movable Let's get real. That was a little bit of a, a tease, really. Um, the Springboks played amazingly well to come back against England the other day. It was 10-man rugby, but yeah, they paced themselves really well. Their subs came on and did a job. You'd have to say the bomb squad did their job. Uh, ABs, I'd like to say they have fresher legs. They've been written off. They must be feeling on a bit of a wave of... Uh, you know, wave of joy after being written off, destroyed by the French. They were wasted by the French. Definitely 
had a bit of clickbait there saying that the that the All Blacks were going to win. I don't know who's going to win. And to be honest, I just hope it's another great game. My verdict, I'm just going to put it out there, being an All Blacks fan. If the ABs can keep their yeah, 15 players on the field, and that's a big if because we've been carded in just about every game of the tournament. If they can ma maintain their discipline, learn from what the English did to the Springboks, use the experienced players, I think the All Blacks will win by 10 points. I know, it's a big call. But if we go back to being silly, we, uh, Pollard kicks us off the park, we get a couple of cards, I think the Springboks will win. Can't get it. Carried on by Callum. There it is! Call it! Yes! Yes! The Everybody stand up. Let's stand up together. We'll get more energy. Stand up, Dave. Here's Will Jordan and the kick. Here we go. Now the kick is on. Jordan and the Sanders. Oh, that trick to Will Jordan. Snapped up off the back. And they're going to a mall. And it's a mall and it is all over. The Springboks have won their fourth Rugby World Cup. And the William Webb Ellis Trophy is handed to Sia Khaleesi and the Springboks. Winners of the 10th Rugby World Cup. Kia ora. Welcome to Angry Dad. Wow, what a World Cup final. Hope you got a chance to see it. It was amazing. It went right down to the wire. Uh, spoiler alert, there was only one point in it. It was 12-11 to the Springboks. So, first of all, congratulations to the Springboks on a, another amazing World Cup win. Four World Cup wins now. And you won by one point in the quarterfinal, one point in the semifinal, and one point in the final. So, well done. You did everything you needed to do to win, and uh, no more. So your fans must have been on an amazing roller coaster ride just as the All Black fans were. And well done. Yeah, you came, on, you came out good on the other side and all credit to you. Well done for being an amazing rugby nation and having amazing fans. Congratulations. For the All Blacks, um, thank you for contributing to an amazing spectacle too. You went down to 14 players, um, but you didn't let that stop you. Uh, you fought right to the end. And I was thinking, what was the difference between the two teams? You'd have to say, actually, when you put all the cards aside and all the refing decisions and the TMO aside, it came down to goal kicking. So, Andre Pollard managed to get a 50 metre kick to kick South Africa into the final from the semi finals. And then Jordy Barrett had the same kick to make and he kicked it or sailing towards the post and it just faded left and he missed it. And that was the World Cup. Yeah, so in summary, for all those. Teams out there that are rebuilding, don't forget the goal kicker and don't don't forget a, an amazing open side flanker. Alright, see you at the next World Cup. Ciao.